Good morning, everyone. Sorry about the very late start for me. Usually I start right on time at 8, but I missed it by five minutes. Um, I was doing things and stuff. I have actually no idea if my hair looks completely unreasonable or not. Let me see for a second here. Probably does. Oh, it's not. It's a... It's, it's a little enthusiastic on the left side of my head, but it's actually not too bad. That's fine. I don't feel like I need to wear a hat. Okay. Um, first, uh, nobody voted on any of my polls. So I decided to just play Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Uh, what you should know about the game is that it was designed as a... Uh, multiplayer couch co-op game um, so a local co-op where you all play from the same screen it's um, indeed very cooperative because you're in a spaceship all fighting monsters together um, so what happens is like one person does the steering and engine controls and one person controls the shields uh, another one can control um, one of the four guns uh, another one could control the other one of the other four guns and you get up from your station and walk to another station to control it so there's i don't know seven or eight things that you can do within the ship that you can control so you have to multitask and coordinate and it gets very um it can get very yelly and shouty um usually in good ways uh, i've never actually played well i've played some two-player games i don't think i've played three or four player games of lovers in a dangerous space time um but I have definitely played other cooperative games with four people, and um, usually there, when the shouting happens, it's urgent shouting rather than like uh, insulting or uh, recriminating. <laughs> um, usually, people are pretty good with um, uh, with cooperating and and generally don't try to shame each other for it, for not doing exactly what they wanted. Usually in urgent times when you're shouting about something, you're shouting about something that needs to be done and not shouting at someone uh, about their ability to do it. Usually, not all the time, but you know, you play with people you like so that if they do shout at you, you like it, I guess. Um, I will play one player with a helper animal, which will probably be a space raccoon, but let's see. All right, and I'm using a uh, an Xbox controller that I have connected to my computer. I guess I could just play this on Xbox and stream from Xbox, but this is this is fine. All right, uh, and we'll start from the beginning. Okay, so it's saying that the second player can use a uh, left shift or use the keyboard, essentially. But I'm going to be player one, and I get to choose between uh, five different icons. I usually do this one. Okay, and then I can press A to be in one player mode, which I will. And then I will find the space raccoon. Space raccoon! Okay. This is not skippable. Believe me, I've tried many times to skip this. But it's okay, it only happens once.
Should I read this? I probably should read this, huh? An arrow in the X, X, XOXO matrix allowed the dark force of anti-love to seep into our reality and blow up the love reactor. The explosion ripped a hole in space-time itself, and the Ardor reactor was blasted to pieces. Now, with anti-love spreading across the galaxy, the fate of our space-time seems decidedly unlovely. Oh no, systems failing, main fleet gone, but the prototype ship, it might still have power. The prototype ship is cut off in the west ventricle, but if I can just get a signal through. Alert, alert, Lover's HQ is under attack. Hey, can you hear me? It's Dr. Hopsy Flopsy. HQ's been breached. Get that ship out of there. Pressing A to jump. Boing. Uh, oh, so now I have to use the gun to shoot at the three or the four button. So in order to get out of the station, I think I can. Yeah, I think I just have to jump out of it. There may be another way. Let's see. Yes, I can use the B key to not have to jump out of the station. So I'm actually, I'm actually navigating the the corridors and ladders with the left stick, and then once I sit down, I control the weapon or the device with the left stick, and I fire with X. And I miss. Why am I? There we go. And then I finally go to the next one. All right, don't have any engines. All right, good news, your loyal space pad is reporting for duty. Stand by to receive teleport. Loyal space pad. Yay. All right, give them some practice. Yes, order them to shoot the targets. Let's go. All right, so there's three targets. Okay. So now I have to hold the Y button and use the left stick to select which station the, the pet uses. So I'm going to go, I'm going to hold down Y and press left and let go of Y. I'm going to hold down Y and press right and let go of Y. And down. Well done, you and your space pet will have to work together if you want to escape. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm detecting enemies coming your way. That ship's not ready to fly just yet. Work together to open your shield and engine pods. Here they come. <clears throat> All right, so I can't shoot the other red button from here, so I'm going to have to move. I'll just use this one. All right. Yield. Nice. Now, what? I actually like to put the pet on shields because they're pretty good at it. You can see they're already there to protect the ship, and all I have to do is go and use the guns. Oh my god, I'm terrible. There we go. All 
All right, and then, oh, I think we're actually, I got out of this gun, but I don't really need to look through here. Oh, that's right. Uh, move Reinhardt over. Is Reinhardt? I can't remember the name of the raccoon. I know I was given it when we started. That is the engine. All right, so <clears throat> I usually have the pet on shields, and I'm on the engine or the guns, depending on what is needed. So you just you use the left stick to sort of swing the engine around <clears throat> and you press X to fire the engine. So that's how you move. Looks like the tunnel to your right is sealed. Some cosmic space bunnies could bust through it if they weren't all captured. OK, well, we'll uncapture them, so won't we? Look, there's this cosmic space bunny that needs to be uncaptured. All right. so. As soon as I start firing at the cage, it's possible that, oh, no, no enemies came. That's interesting. All right, so we got one Cosmic Space Bunny who unlocked the thing. And it's a good thing, too, because otherwise I would have been at a dead end. All right, moving. See, now the shield is, is aimed to protect the ship from the most likely source of damage, which is me running into a wall. I'm actually not a terrible pilot at these ships, given my record of not being able to drive my way out of a paper bag in driving games. I think it's pretty surprising that I'm not bad at controlling the ship. All right. Uh, that one, yes. Uh, okay, so that's the super weapon, which I'm sure we'll need later. But I don't think we need it right away. So I might put the pet on it. Yeah, good. I don't want to give away how it works because it's pretty spectacular. All right, so what am I doing here? I feel like I've missed something already. What's going on? Maybe I should go back this way? I'm a little confused. Or maybe I should... No, no, I think I need to go... I think I need to go back with the way I came. I need to go... Keep going from the... From the uh, super weapon station. That makes a lot more sense. Let's see. It's been a while since I've actually restarted this game. Yes! The Yamamoto cannon is very powerful. Or Yamato, sorry, cannon is very powerful. But you have to time it just right. It's true, you do. It has to actually be pointing at whatever you want to kill before you fire it. All right, you stay on shields, little pet. Little raccoon! Well, I can't even reach that one guy on the bottom. I guess I meant to use the Yamato cannon, but... Or Yamato. Yamato or Yamato? I forgot already. I am not a good ally. All right, uh, there's the escape portal. Looks like you'll need more space bunnies to open it, though. And behold, a space bunny. Only one, though, and I need three more. All right, I'll use the Yama. Yamato. Fire! See, that's good aim. I like how the how the ship actually moves a little bit, um, just a little bit. You can see when you move the engine, the ship sort of twists a little bit, which is great. It's a great physics simulation. All right, so I need my pet to help me with this one. 
I'll put the pet on this one. All right, that's your map station. Use it to map. Did I mention that your space pet loves maps too? My space pet does love maps. Let's have the space pet do the, the map. All right, so now we can see that there's a power up to the west and there's more unknown territory to the south. So I'm going to go west because I like power ups. Looks like the power up is actually behind a door. Yeah, and it looks like a map power up, but that's fine. More intelligence is good. All right, and to the west is another space bunny, and we've been shut in, which is, of course, great news and probably indicates that something bad is going to happen to us. Yep. It wasn't terrible that happened to us, but it was something. All right, now I got three out of five bunnies. I have to shoot the bonus. Map data. So now I can see that if I go south, I will find more bunnies. Space bunnies. All right. Whoa, okay. Uh, there are other games like this that are couch co-op um, or built at least to be enjoyed couch co-op, even though they may also be built to enjoy, be enjoyed in other modes. Um, there is, of course, um, what is it called now? Space? Um, ooh. I got I got shot. Um, I'm gonna just gonna run into this power up. Give me a little health. Um, I'll have to look it up now. But there's uh, there's a couple of spacey ones. Uh, I'm thinking of the one that. Well, let me get it. Let me get out of trouble first. I feel like I should perhaps first stop being actively shot at before I start talking about other games. I'll run into this one too. All right. Um, so there's the one that you can play on your iPhone, which is a Hoot, or your Android phone as well. Um, it's called, good Lord, I'm so unprepared for this. Um, Space Team. Of course, it's called Space Team. Uh, and in Space Team, you all use your own phones or smart devices, and you all follow the directions you're given, or else bad things happen to your ship. Um, and that can get very yelly indeed. Um, there's also this great game, which I have so much trouble coordinating, and I think everybody does because it's a pain in the butt, but um, it's called Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator, and it's a simulation of playing, uh, of, of piloting, of uh, exploring the, you know, the galaxy or whatever, uh, the local star field in a ship like the USS Enterprise. 
um, but it's not officially licensed. I think that Paramount um, actually licensed a, an actual another game, like a a VR game, uh, where the point is the same and 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 uh, the gameplay, I guess, is similar. Um, but the idea is that just like on the Starship Enterprise or any of the starships in the USS Federation in the Star Trek um, universe, or even uh, strongly implied, of course, in the Star Wars universe as well, is that there are, you know, capital class ships where uh, you need more than one person to run it, right? And anyway, um, in Artemis, for example, there's a navigation station, a weapons station, an engineering station, a communications station. Um, uh, there's a captain's view. You can even do a setup with a, an executive officer. Um, it's pretty flexible. Uh, and it can be a lot of fun. I mean, you do have to have people who are kind of fascinated by the idea, because, like I said, it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt to play, to learn to play, to set up. Uh, you have to set up your network so that you can um, have like four to six um, computers, computing devices with screens talking to each other, so they can all coordinate. Uh, it's nice to have like a big TV or a projector shooting against a wall that shows the overview or the long range scanner. Like it's a thing like people a couple of years ago when it was super popular uh, and you can find these recordings on YouTube. If you look for Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator, um, there are people who dress up in Starfleet uniforms and play these games. Um, it's been through several major updates, and I have to say I've been pretty pleased with most of them. The major thing that gets my goat is that they haven't put up the money or done the effort to do the port to um, iOS for touch screens for a long time. They did. There was one or one or two versions where they did, but since then there have been other major updates and no update to the um, tablet version for Apple uh, products, which is all I have. So uh, I used to be able to use those for um, certain stations, but now I have to use laptops and I have to ask my friends who want to play to bring laptops too, which of course is very contraindicated in days of COVID and pandemic. You can set it up to play uh, across the internet, but as you may know, the internet is slow sometimes, so that doesn't doesn't always work well. But anyway, that's like the super complex version of co-op games, and then this is like one of the simple versions where you get two, one, two, or three friends. You hand them game pads, and you play together on one screen. All right, so the first campaign uh, is Ursa Major, so we'll go to Ursa Major. Uh, and I'm going to make it easy. Do I want to make it super easy? You know what? Great. Let's do normal. Yes, normal. All right. And then normally if I have other ships unlocked, I can select them, but I only have Gumball Zero. Uh, you have to play over and over again this game to unlock stuff, but it can still be pretty fun. Um, depends on what you want, you know? So I have to free enough bunnies to unlock the stuff I need. There's these bunnies in need of rescuing. Uh, it says there's five, but there's actually 10 space bunnies per level from here on out. All right, so that shows me a little bit of the surroundings and where some of the bunnies are. So I should go. 
I'm going to go east to pick up whatever that bonus box is, and then I'm going to go south. Shoot. Weak. Oh, now there's a there now there's a flamey one. There's two flamey one. Oh my god. See they have big booms. Three flamey ones. Nice. Finally time to shoot the bonus thing. More map is this is fine. All right. Oop. So more bunnies. Good to know. All right, let's keep going south. There are more bunnies in that direction than there are north right now. <clears throat> so if you want to fully unlock all of your bonuses and unlocks, you want to uh, find all 10 bunnies in the level. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not kidding around around here. You really want to get them grouped together if you can. It helps the shield person try to fend off damage to the ship. It helps coordinate strategies. All right, so I've gotten one bunny out of five or ten. The other one was a bit more to the west. Oh, it's a it's a it's a land. Oh, I think it's in here. Yep. So now I have to go inside a um an asteroid. Look at that. Oh my god, it's another burning one. Oh, you rat bastard. And there's another one right in here. I need this. Two bunnies. Two bunnies. All right, let's go. We'll go this way. Oh, I'm taking damage. There's just too much going on. All right, well, that was pretty short. Okay. And, uh, um, ah, so much is happening. I just, you know, it just feels like there's too much. And these guys skip around, which is just irritating. Oh my god. All right. Um Yeah, I'm sorry. Ow. Ow. All right, now I got to shoot at this door. Now I'm just going to bust on through here. All right, people. Ah, so many. <laughs> and there's another one coming. All right, I, I got I gotta check this map. I feel I'm feeling a little at sea. All right. 
So the other bunny that I know about is north. So let's go. We'll go east around this asteroid thing with the shield doors, and we'll go north. Uh, there's another game actually that I just recently acquired that's called This Means Warp. It's one of the other ones that I suggested that I might play. And it's another one. It's a. Uh, is it? I guess that yeah, it's still cooperative. It's definitely still cooperative. Um, and it's a bit it's a bit like this game. Uh, not entirely, but it, it's uh, it's actually kind of like a mashup of this game and another game that I think I will eventually show you that's called um, FTL. Um, So the thing that the thing to know about FTL is that it's another one of those that I think I've mentioned before that's called a rogue roguelike. And FTL, uh, they basically expect you to lose. It's difficult to it's difficult to actually win. But as you play more and more games, you sort of unlock the knowledge you need to be more successful, right? That's how you play a roguelike. Um it's is it it's a little it's a little dwarf like too when i was talking about rim world i was talking about dwarf likes where you have um pawns or uh, characters or playing pieces or whatever but you don't necessarily directly control them um you tell them to do something they go do it right so in FTL's case, you sort of take control of a um, uh, of a character and you tell it to do your bidding. In a dwarf like you um, set tasks and the game assigns a dwarf to uh, do the work based on what dwarf is available and uh, whether they have the skills to do whatever it is that you need done. So, in this means warp, I think it's more like you directly control the character, um, and you prioritize what the character does based on what needs doing in the ship. Um, so it's kind of I think it's more like it's more like this one, and more like FTL. Um, which stands for faster, faster than life, or light, not light. Um, so this means warp is kind of, it's kind of like an enhanced version of this this game, uh, or of FTL. Um, power gem. All right. So with a power gem, I can upgrade something. Um, I think I'm gonna upgrade. Let's upgrade the shield. All right, so the shield got more powerful essentially. I still need to fight our way out of this. Nice. So I could also have like upgraded um, a turret to make it more powerful or fire more shots or whatever. Uh, I could have upgraded the uh, engines to be more powerful and possibly do damage so that they'd be sort of like another weapon in a way. Um, It all kind of depends on your priorities and the way you want to play. And there, there, are, there are also other kinds of power-ups, which perhaps I'll be able to show you. Five. All right, but I'm going to actually look for 10. I got some time. I can do this level in another 25 minutes, I think. Perhaps I'm being 
too optimistic. Who knows? Oh my god. All right, so I've taken a little damage, but it wasn't too bad, especially given how many um, enemies showed up. All right, uh, going to the map. Uh, so in This Means Warp and in Faster Than Light, sometimes you encounter hostile enemies and then you play um, a battle where you're um i'm gonna go west you play it no i'm gonna go east because there's another bonus down there south and east so i'll go east um so like they'll shoot you and then in it'll take a little time for your weapon to cool down and then you can you can order your weapon to fire at one of their subsystems and um it's kind of a i don't know hunt for red october i don't know it's not like you're hiding from them but you um you definitely control sort of how you fight and what prior what targets are your priorities so like i'll often play this means warp or ftl um so that i'm targeting weapons first and they're less likely to be able to shoot at me um but they may do the same so it may be kind of a weird standoff um oh it's the it's the health bubble planet oh my god there we go all right so my health is all the way up and I get another gift. Anyway, perhaps I'll show you those later. Another power gem. All right, I'm going to I'm going to power up the engine. So now the engines are Ooh. I think they may actually do damage. I'm not sure. They definitely seem pulsy in the beginning. I'm not sure what that does. It doesn't seem like it actually did any damage to that asteroid, though. Um, and another another power up is coming, but I need to deal with this guy first. I can. And that one. Oh my god. Oh, that was kind of silly, but fun. All right. Well, metal doom. All right. So metal does interesting things. I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to do an upgrade to the Yamato cannon. So the Yamato cannon now, I'm just going to fire it. <laughs> so it's, it actually covers the entirety of the ship several times, but the range is much shorter. So I have to, if I'm going to use it, I have to make sure that I'm getting absolutely swarmed or else it probably won't do anything all right so that's that's the health planet I'm going to look at the map. We'll need to go east. Although it looks like this asteroid belt is going to continue, so I need to factor that in. Maybe I'll just root my way in here. Bounce some asteroids off at the monsters.
I'm getting nailed. Although it's not actually doing a lot of damage. It is, however, irritating. These guys are all being butt heads as usual. I do hear bunnies. Uh, oh, there. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Can you hear them? I can hear them. There's three of them in this cage. All right. Um, so worth it. Uh, if a little, I'm actually going to deal with this gem first. All right. So I, I'm actually going to, I'm going to override my upgrade of the engine. So I lose that power gem, but now the engine, um, fires caltrips, which can be very helpful for dealing with pursuing enemies, enemies who are pursuing you. I mean, you can use them as direct weapons, but it's somewhat challenging. So it's actually better just to help cover your rear. I feel like now may actually be a good time to try the uh, Yamato. Oh, not quite. It is, however, defending me from some projectiles. It's not actually doing much else. Got ran into by a, an asteroid. Okay, that was not ideal. I actually dropped a lot of health, so I'm actually going to go back to the uh, heart planet. And there's a gap here, which may help me. This is silly. But I had a Caltrop that actually took out that exploding guy, so that was actually helpful. And because I denuded the planet, I no longer have to orbit it, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, now I have 8 out of 5. It's actually 8 out of 10. Um, I'm going to head south. So I feel like south is a major direction that I haven't really explored yet. And there's a big cloud of unknown. The fog of war, as it were. Woo! That was fun. I am driving somewhat recklessly, but I'm doing it in an attempt to actually run over some of these enemies. Helped a lot. Um, uh, 
Uh, I need to take a break. Uh, so I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, what am I doing? I'm currently not okay. Excellent. Uh, there's a bonus to the west, so I'll go west. Go around this thing. Taking damage. I'm actually not happy with the amount of damage I'm taking here. Beam jam. Beam. Hopefully, as I continue my journey, I will find more um, healing bonuses. I'm happy to have upgrades as well, but healing uh, will help me better survive. <laughs> Clearly, I'm having trouble avoiding taking damage. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, all right, let's get out of here. I end up blowing up <laughs> simply because I can't get out from under all of these enemies. All right, and that's the edge. So I don't, it's, I'm discouraged from going past the edge because I essentially can't make any progress. I feel like I am taking too much damage. <laughs> you can see I'm flashing red. That's not a good sign. I need to actually get on the, the gun here. Firing off into the into space here. All right, um, I've gotten a little bit of wiggle room. All right, so I'm really what I'm doing is trying to look for <clears throat> two more bunnies, and I'm actually given the state of my ship. I think I'm just going to leave this level. The better part of valor.
Uh, I know that in between levels, there's the ability to get at least a little healed up. So hopefully that will help. And again, I've demonstrated that I need to play on easier level settings while I'm uh, streaming and while I'm talking and um, dealing with interruptions, um, which I'm a little peeved about, but I think I'll get over it. All right, so mission complete. I got three bonus friends out of five. Maybe I'll come back and get more bonus friends later, but in the meantime, um, so I will put the cat on the turrets below to get healing and I will get, oh, and the healing went all the way up. I will get the other bonus. A metal gem. Um, I'm going to put the metal gem on this one. And then I will go on this one and I will put the cat on this turret. And we will leave. All right. So we start in orbit. With a fully healed ship and near a bonus, which my raccoon has already shot, uh, which is a map. And it says there are bunnies to the east, bunnies to the east indeed. Getting out of orbit by accelerating. And I should probably put my furry friend on shields. And we got more map. And now there's bunnies to the east and bunnies to the southeast. It looks like there's another one of these doors over here. I'm actually going to go south. Uh, if I remember correctly, what lies behind this door is not my friend, but that's okay, I guess. Can't all be friends. <clears throat> At least I'll be covered a little bit from the rear. All right, the bunnies are to the southeast. And I got some healing from the bunnies. Uh oh. Time to get out of here. This is definitely not my friend. Not much to be done to be done but to run. And unfortunately not directly away, but sort of orthogonal to away. I'm gonna take some heat. So I got out, which is kind of amazing because I thought I was going to get eaten by that expanding cloud of nastiness. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm all the way in the northeast. I'm going to head south. I'm going to east and south. This 
just actually prioritizing making progress over engaging enemies. Since my raccoon is pretty dexterous with the shields, it's not a terrible choice, especially in the open space. All right, this is another trap. Oh, it's the expanding nasties trap. Well, we'll see if we can make it. The thing about the expanding nasties is that if I can find a safe space, the enemies that show up may not be able to do the same. I got my five. And they healed me up. Yes, the nasties have been attacked by the other nasties. All right, so now I really just have to get out of here. Oh, <clears throat> I need to take a break again. Hello. Hello. I don't. All right. Well, it's been a morning full of interruptions, and I have to say that I am not a fan. Um, I'm actually going to, since I'm in a sort of safe area. All right. So ideally, I would just like to be able to pop out of the west side of this asteroid and not get eaten. I'm actually going to go southwest, because then I can hit that fog of war that's to the west. Um, so let's do that. Waiting for it to shrink. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. All right. So the shields can actually take care of the expanding nasties a little bit easier than I thought. It's not like that. That bomb that threatened to explode us. <clears throat> And there's a bonus. I want to go this way in the orbit. Thank you. Yes. I still wish to go this way. All right. Um, what did we get? A beam gem. Let's make the Yamato cannon a beam cannon. I think that's more awesome. All right. Um, I'm going to keep moving. I'm not actually sure what I need to do here. I'm actually tempted to just leave the area again um, and not focus too much on getting the bonus bunnies. But I don't know if that's the smartest thing. Oh, maybe I could do that. Oh, bunny.
All right, so this Lord, <clears throat> this bunny unleashed a planet full of bunnies, or sorry, <clears throat> unleashed a planet full of enemies. So here's the metal turret, which is actually pretty cool. And I think you can actually swing it. Yeah, you can swing it around. So it sort of <laughs> does damage to everything that crosses its path as it whips around. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, I don't think the uh, mono is the right call. I guess I gotta swing this thing around again. Yeah. It's a very silly weapon, but it's actually fairly effective, which I don't think I've given it enough credit for being. Assuming you can steer it properly. <laughs> like, I would like to hit this thing, but only if I could. There we go. Wow. I feel worse than useless. All right. Um, so I feel like some bunnies may be to the north. See, now, I just feel like this whole game would be more fun to play if my friends were um, screaming delightedly and shouting orders and being silly with one another. You know what I mean? It just is more fun to play in that sort of context. Boy, these green shots are really strong. But I, I guess I really need that. I already need that. Oh, edge. 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 Actually, you can use the edge to your strategic advantage, too. Boy, there are a bunch of these guys, aren't there? Edge. Boy, that's a big planet. <clears throat> oh, that that's a nice weapon. <laughs> wow, that was uh, way more effective than I thought it was going to be. Okay, and I'm already half down. See, this is why I feel like I should just move on. But I did, I did find another bonus, so maybe I should get it while I can. Uh. Wow, yeah, I gotta get out of here.
leaving now. I'm just basically trying to get out in a sort of around the around the major cluster of enemies. I feel like I could be in a better space. I feel like I haven't quite managed all the upgrades as appropriately as I wanted to. I see a bunch of these enemies around the place where I'm trying to go. And I can essentially bluster my way past them and get out of here. Incomplete! Oh, almost unlocked the upgrade, um, but not quite. All right, so let's put, yes. All right, and I, I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, a remover. Ah, do I wish to remove something? Um. I think I do. Um, I think I want to remove this one. And I think I want to put this actually on turret so it can have three shots. And then this is left over from not addressing it before. Um, and I will put it here. So that's a beam. And then finally, another one from that power up. Metal gem. Which I guess I should put on the shield. I've been kind of resisting it, but let's see what happens. All right. Um, and then I will take this one and I will send my pet friend to the other one and we'll get out of here. I actually don't know how long I was gone, and so I'm sort of trying to figure that out by playing this a little bit longer so it feels like an hour. I It doesn't seem like completely the right call because, honestly, uh, I lost track of time while I was dealing with my interruption. So, you know, that's great. Oh. Small engine prototype! Yes, please. Yeah, you just keep hammering. <laughs> All right, so my uh, engine got changed to a wormhole engine. Uh, the engine is very fragile. That's that's wonderful. Thank you for for mentioning that. I I appreciate that. All right, so basically, uh, yeah. See, this is. This is a problem because I can't do anything except now I got a multitask, right? So let's I got twelve waves. I've already taken damage. I mean it's it's ridiculous, right? I got this thing, which you know I guess works okay. Um I'm going to move this guy around to the other side. I got that, and I survived one wave. All right, this is ridiculous. I am tired. Oh, and you can change the difficulty in the middle of the game. So let's do that. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> All right, anyway, I think I'm done playing for now. Um, I wanted to show you this. Uh, I hope that you can imagine how fun it might be to play this in a co couch co-op setting. 
Um, I'm going to go off and edit this video for non-Twitch audiences so that they don't have to sit through me being gone for several minutes. Um, and then I'm going to send a complaint to, I don't know, somebody probably won't. Uh, I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter as much as I think it does, but um, we did ask for the interruption to come after 10, and it clearly did not. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that your day is better than mine. I hope that you take care of your people and your animals and that everybody is happy and sleeps in the sun and has a nice lunch and enjoys the rest of the day and the weekend to come. And I hope that you will join me again on Monday when I will play something old or something new or whatever you suggest. Take care.